Hi everybody, Joshua here with the Heavy Piano YouTube channel. This will be a piano tutorial for the Cocteau Twins' uh, I Wear Your Ring. This song was requested by a longtime patron, Brian, so big thank you, Brian. It's not a tune I ever would have thought of arranging or covering, um, so it was really cool to learn. And there's a lot going on in the, in the, in the vocal line especially. Um, so I'm going to talk about chords and melody. And I miss, may miss a few things here and there, but I hope you can use this as kind of a structure uh, for getting a, a handle on the song. And then go and watch my versions and kind of see what, what you like or what you don't like. But uh, use, you know, kind of like just another source of information for learning the song on the piano. So let's get right into it. So what do we have here? We have introduction. It's a D minor. And then like a C over D. Maybe no third in the D. You could do that. That's a nice sound. That's just every other note. And then a B flat major seven. You could voice it like that, or you know, there's so many different ways to voice. Try some different things there, and then just a regular C chord. You'll see me do a lot of these tenth voicings with the fifth in the middle. You could just voice it with the octave if your hand doesn't stretch quite like that. Let me play that much again. Right? And then what I was doing at the top, let's see here. And then when I repeat it, you'll see me do this a lot in my arrangements. I add a little bit of depth, and I do that in this case by going an octave lower and kind of rolling through. So I've come out of the first time through these chords. And then I'm ready to play the melody on the top, and the chords will be the same. You can kind of call that like a C6 there, if you add a little bit of modification, a little more detail as far as what the chord is. So coming out of that, let's see here. It's like an F over A. Then like a back to that B flat major seven. C. F. And it did sound like the bass walked up G A going to the B flat again. C. And then it goes right back into that D minor for the verse chords again. Back to the second part here. Excuse me. And this time we're just going to hang out in the D minor. To C. F over A. Here's that B flat major seven again. Adding the C in there uh, makes it a B flat major seven with a nine. C. You can kind of see what I'm doing with my fingers, my hands over this, kind of these like alternating rhythms. Um, let me play that much again. So we come out of that last time.
I kind of took my time going to this next part. This next chord progression will just be the progression that goes through its four chords um, until the end. And then the recording, you know, the, the uh, Cocteau Twins, they faded out. Um, I th I'll talk about what I did, but um, let's see here. Getting ahead of myself. Uh, first chord is E minor. A or A7, maybe just A, D, G. So this four chord pattern. So there's that little line, kind of like outlining that G major seven with a nine in there. Um, um, and what I did to end the piece is I just kind of started playing that line over the chord progression. Excuse me. <laughs> You can see there's a bit of improvisation in my arrangements, so I kind of like, I'm messing up here a little bit. So what I'll do when I'm when I'm home is I I, I will kind of like work on a, a version that I like, and I'll try to capture that once it's fresh in my mind. Um, but so I'm just trying to relay what I did um, for my versions, and so I apologize for my mistakes. kind of however you want to end it is totally up to you but uh go through and, and watch my version you can kind of get some ideas for what i was doing but those are chords and melody more or less um i would i do want to talk let's see i'll talk a little bit about what i'm doing with my hands so i'm obviously i'm not just playing chords right you know I'm, so i'm adding some movement in there so let's see here um let's go to the top Let me see if I can slow that down. Slow that down. What I have done to work towards that is just practice slowly and try to pick patterns that aren't necessarily super predictable. So, you know, you have things like Alberti bass, right? Or, so instead of just picking like a, a repeating pattern, I'm trying to create the rhythm um, uh, that works around the melody. Um, so I, I'm trying to like get the singing quality in my playing. Let's see here. And then there's these inner voices working along with the melody. The idea is like move, creating movement and rhythm with this kind of these like patterns. So even just like trying to change it up to where it's it's just like not completely predictable, but the thing that's a constant is like this woven rhythm through my plane. I know that's easier said than done. Um, and and I encourage you. Let's see here. I'll, I'll try to slow it down one more time. So 
So I am, I'm not doing the same notes every time, but I'm more I'm thinking in terms of the rhythm. Ba da 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 da. So even like going outside of the normal triad, some of these modification notes, and I'm using those like more more or less kind of randomly to create the rhythm instead of thinking, okay, well next I'm gonna play this chord, this chord, this chord. I'm kind of thinking, here's the rhythm my fingers are doing and I'll work around that and then I'll experiment. And you know, sometimes I'll play the wrong note as I'm trying to work that out and then I'll, I'll know that's not the sound I want. You know, I don't, I don't want it to be that dissonant. Um, Also thinking about like where that bass bass note is landing. You know, like, and where the emphasis is on that note and where that rhythm's landing and kind of how that drives the rhythm. Bum bum bum. Bum bum bum. Bum 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 bum. You know, you can even have like a little melody going in your left hand. So I'm messing, I'm messing up because I'm trying to emphasize that a little more. Something to think about to add a little bit of um, like texture to the plane. Anyway, chords and melody, that's kind of how I'm thinking about it. Thank you so much for the request. Big thank you to my patrons on Patreon for supporting this channel. I really appreciate it. Cool songs that I maybe wouldn't have uh, arranged otherwise. So, yeah. I really enjoy making these. I hope you find these helpful. What a cool song to kind of learn and transfer to the piano. So anyway... If you have questions or comments, leave them below. Otherwise, I will catch you next time. Take care.